Um, I, I think obviously the, the Astralis games are going to have something to do with it. Uh, and I think obviously anytime you have Forest playing well and even Get Right playing well, um, I think that's going to re-motivate a, a lot of the fan base and a lot of the Counter-Strike fans to start having more faith in, in NIP. And that's kind of what we have right now. Think about it. If we could have a Get Right and Forest coming back, we have existence playing in this tournament as well. I just love it. We've got a lot of people coming back in and uh, and, and proving their worth, and uh, it's very exciting. Mouse Sports going to be playing on the CT side, NIP on the T side here. Mirage, we're best of one game. They're first in the legend stage for both of these teams, and it's really important that you win it so you can go on and be invited next time. You also don't have to worry about not going through the minor system. Yes, so that is, and that's a huge deal for sure. Looks like we have got a bit of a execute on the bomb site here. Dennis doing nothing on the other side, which is a bit of a shame because that was meant to sell some sort of fake. Now snacks close range here. The flashbang setup is great. And he's going to pick up one guy carrying the bomb, even getting a chance to reload. He's staying alive for such a long time here and doing everything that's required, even going down. That's just fine as Sonny, Oscar, and Chris are going to close out the round. And Mouse Sports with a beautiful start of Team Ace. Yeah, Team Ace, everyone gets one kill. The NIP ran that strategy previously. I think they ran that at Stockholm. Maybe it was in earlier in this event where they just send Dennis up a ramp all on his lonesome to take a duel find a fight to have and Rops just puts him down before he can get anything going on and obviously the flashbang slow this hit down by the time that he's actually ready to attack the bomb site there's four players here defending and they've just lost too much big win for mouse sports in the fist around deagles are out so is the scout on get right not known to be a scouter no, not exactly, but I actually would like to see... I like it if Get Right is going to come in to this match a little bit fired up, maybe taking a couple of risks. He's one of those players that is definitely an emotional player, so if he can uh, find a way to pick himself up early on and um, do a little bit of damage, that would certainly be exciting. I think that bullet was actually caught by the, by the fence there or by the railing, so that's a bit of a shame. Rez and Dennis are going to be left. Yeah, this whole round's a bit of a shame for NIP. The investment yielding them no results whatsoever. Rez is out, but that's easy for Snacks. And now Dennis moving in towards A. Would love to get just one kill. He's got a lot of space to work with, but no easy shots. And now, no, there he is. He's been spotted from CT spawn. Communication hasn't come along quick enough, but not a great chance of hitting those shots. Two to nothing. Power Sports don't lose anybody. No, perfect beginning for them. That is obviously good news being on CT side. When you get, I mean, when you get enough grenades and, and if you can even buy into the double up setup or something like that, if a mouse I don't know if they want to, but if, but if, but if they get Oscar and Chris both at one, that's kind of hard to break. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. You need, who do you need to get rid of Oscar at this point? Can't exactly invite MSL, can you? So. <laughs> oh, the memes. The back. Yeah. Oh. Well. Just around with Glocks, and I think we'll see Chris starting to get aggressive. He's not going to worry about losing this SMG all too much. Want to get some of that bonus money. Lecro, Forest, Rez, and Dennis playing very far back. Part of the reason that went into my prediction for picking an IP, and, and this has been going on for a while, I've just kind of lost confidence in, in Mouse Sports Mirage. You don't like it? Do you, do you have a, is it just an overall feeling or, or do, you, do you, have you identified, a, is there a specific problem that you... There's not anything specific, I, I just feel like they haven't been playing as well on it. Um, and over time they seem to have been getting worse on it. And, ooh, this is awkward for Chris. Yeah, kind of an unnecessary mistake. It doesn't, it's not going to cost him the round, but, you know. It would have been nice to have the information, like I said, he's not going to worry about risking an SMG because they have everything they need to still stay in this round. I think this is going to force Rops to play way more passive in that A-bomb set. I think he's kind of got to back up maybe all the way to Ticket Booth. Really use that FAMAS and the range that it has over unarmored pistols. And there's no utility as well. So as soon as he spots action, the rotation is going to come back to a stop connector, and there's no chance of them getting into the bomb site. Three quick kills for Rops. There's the M4, and yeah, it's shut down pretty quick. So yeah, losing that SMG, it's just not the biggest deal. And obviously, if you if you make that push and you find two players looking the wrong way and you get a bunch of bonus money, that, that always puts a smile on your face. NIP going to have to play around without an AWP if they're, if they're ever going to go back to it. For the moment, five AKs. Not a bad at all. That kind of beginning, Chris taking a bit of a risk. If it had worked out, I mean, apart from the fun of of sniping up kills with the MP7, 
if you want, if you put, apply a bit of pressure early on on the CT side, right, it can leave the T's a bit more worried, right? Maybe they're a bit slower in some of the rifle rounds, even because they're worried about some of that aggression. Yeah. Which some CT signs do tend to forget. I think a mouse force actually is one of them sometimes, weirdly enough. But if they maybe they've switched that up a little bit, maybe they are going to try and be a bit more. I think the difference. I don't know if they necessarily forget, but a lot of the power that mouse force has, as you mentioned, is is the op, right? So the more you're aggressive right. with your rifles on the CT side, the less of a chance someone like Oscar would have to be involved, and and they like to do aggression with him as well. Had a small, very, very quick pause for whatever reason, uh, but it's ended. Not a tactical. And here we go. Op is out on Oscar. Two Farmers, two M4s. Plenty of utility on the NIP side as well. Fourth round. First time that NIP have rifles in their hands. Some utility, but not a whole lot. That is going to be... A preemptive Molotov to catch the smoker is coming into the window. Kind of a deep play coming out here from Oscar and see if he's going to get the reward that he's looking for. Flashbang is in. Rez will pick up Chris and he was over at Catwalk. Tries to put a flick but not going to make it work and Sonny's gone down in the middle. A big return into this round for NIP and that's in spite of a very dangerous scenario there. That, that gap in the smoke can absolutely ruin your day but they're going to stay safe for now and see if they can handle this. This one at 3v5, you really should be winning this round if you're an IP. But there are ways to mess it up. I want to know where Chris J died. He's on catwalk. I'm just not entirely sure how far out he was swung. That nade almost brings force down. But we've seen, we've seen that a number of times from, from NIP. Force is more than willing to take that duel, even with an op. They, they kind of pre-fire that gap in the smoke. One pop flash design just to wreck that position so you can get some time. Help to neutralize that, that particular point. Oh, and they're going to readjust over towards the B bomb site, and this is dangerous because Snacks is pushing up, and Oscar's going to be here as well. This is the worst possible situation that NIP can attack into. Yeah, really is, and especially because when the shot rings out from this AWP, all their focus. Oh, he falls back. The timing is unbelievable. Snacks is going to get one, but they needed that. Oscar's still doing a good job, holding on. Thirty seconds, and they're all going to be coming for him. Every single player through the apartment. He misses the first opportunity now. They're down on the low ground. One more missed shot, and Rez cleaning up the round. By the way, he got the kill early in under. Pass on Chris. Is I thought it was on. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was, it was on catwalk. catwalk. Yeah, but I think he actually wanted to make the jump out, but he failed the jump to get on catwalk and fell down into underpass to get picked off. Puts it into a really awkward spot. Great shooting from Forrest. Nice control as well. Tapping away at window first, and Oscar just couldn't get comfortable inside this bomb site. And part of it, I think, he was expecting that to be a split. You could see him really ready for anyone to turn the corner on catwalk. Great job by NIP to overcome that first hurdle. Now they have another obstacle in their face, and that's the double op setup. You mentioned it. Chris J and Oscar bringing out the AWP. And this time, NIP's not going to smoke window. They're going to let Forrest just pin Oscar down. And does he want to go for the peak? This would be so bold. Here's Chris J's. Oh, no. He missed a shot. Get right. So lucky. But uh, Chris J does get the follow-up. And Oscar's not punished for the peak. Nice aggression in middle with the flashbang over the wall. Yeah, really well done, and probably Get Right's going to be a little bit upset that there was nobody that could refrag any of that. Surprised Chris missed the first shot, but a lot of confidence in his playstyle. Going back for a repeat there can definitely be dangerous, but he made it out. Especially even Oscar peeking in window like that. Yeah. That's a terrifying prospect. Either way, there it is. Well, here Oscar goes back for it. This time, they're punished for the repeaks. Rez is backing all the way through T-spawn. Going to head towards a ramp. You have Dennis set up and ready to go in Palace. Sonny and Rops are going to be the two that are forced to defend this situation. They'll obviously have to smoke a Molotov or force back Chris J, and I think that's kind of the plan. That flashbang doesn't work, though. He's going to get a new angle, but one's already crossed. But Lecro, grenade in hand. He jumps just over the shot. He probably should have been dead. 35 seconds now, and they are starting to crunch on that A-bomb side. Rops is there. He's been playing very well so far. Sonny almost gets taken out of Lecro. Oh my god, that's so incredibly aggressive. Sonny is definitely going to be mad. And now Chris, can he get back into the action? He wants to be there to help out Robs, but he's going to get himself taken down. What an absolutely beautiful round from Lecro right now. A double kill while leading the team and 10 health left. Robs with a headshot, but the bomb is going down. And now it's a three on two here. Can they actually retake this side? It's very, very tricky. They don't have a smoke for the bomb, so defusing is going to be nearly impossible. And Ren will take a face right off of Snacks and Rob's wanted some and he got some as well. Two on three and NIP, that, that's a beautiful round. It's 
especially from Lecro. I'm just awestruck by that play. That is that is really, really cool to see him switch on in that fashion. Chase it down. He gets the damage. He knows he really wants to find that kill, and he knows how important it is, because that puts him in a position to do exactly this. Cut off rotations, and it deletes the player that's closest to helping helping Rops back towards the ticket booth, and just nice tapping away from Rez. Good skill being shown by these... Uh, I wanted to say newer, but they're not really all that new anymore, are they, to the NIP jersey? Oh, we can keep that up, I think. It's alright. I, I want to say as well that we, we talked about those repeats from Christian Oscar. Actually, hold the thought. There's going to be a rush in here, and Rez gets caught spraying and, and punished, but he's got all the information. So, NIP is going to push into this A bomb site, and it should be a pretty clean win. Pretty, it was a pretty standard play out from here. There doesn't need yeah. to be all those repeats. Obviously, it gets from that first kill, but when you're going back to that late peek in towards Connector as an offer, like that's that's the risk you're taking, and you could see they had a 5 on 4, it didn't need to happen, and Force is able to equalize off of it, and that really kind of spreads out and opens up the middle of the map for NIP. Mouse Sports is going to have to be cautious and more disciplined than that. And it's, I mean, I guess that is the risk of having somebody like Oscar, because at the same time, if you restrain him from doing stuff like that, that also takes away a little bit of his power, yeah. but it did cost him, so I don't know when you... When do you when do you keep the leash on him and when do you just say listen if you feel like you if you feel like you could do this then do it. This is good news for Mouse Sports though. It's two AKs that they're trying to make their way out of here and actually might get a third one. It might move back into CT spawn. I'm able to pick it up. So very very expensive here and they get three AKs out of it. Holy, that hell. is a lot, Moses. Yeah, that is a big mistake from the ninjas. That is a lot of free money, free cash. You love that, don't you? Like yeah, it's like a. ATM just like flying hundred dollar bills out of it. It's good stuff. You had a dream like that, Moses, where you just, just got free money? <laughs> I had a dream the, once that I won the time. lottery and it took me several hours after I woke up to realize it was just a dream. Oh, that was, that's, I, a, that's a bit brutal. Yeah, I was excited for the whole morning. I was like, this is great. Yeah, that'll wake you up quick, won't it? If you're <laughs> groggy and then you're like, wait, I don't actually have four hundred million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I have you, Moses, and that's just as good. Priceless, they say. Yes, I wouldn't trade it. <laughs> Seventh round, three-man stack on the bomb side. This is this would be a great counter for one of those default they executes, and they do happen a lot on Mirage. So, from our sports in a bad call, it does leave both mid and especially B maybe a little bit lonesome, but it's it's maybe a risk that you can take. Might be worth it. At the moment, it doesn't look like it's going to uh, going to be of great benefit. Still. Leaning towards that B bomb site, no one from NIP even close day, not even watching for pushes, throwing some late mid smokes. Catwalk in window room. That's going to keep Sunny pinned down. Yeah, Oscar doesn't even have an AWP now. He is kind of an early warning system with the way he's just kind of shoulder peeking on top of that balcony, but that's not necessarily going to do a whole lot. We'll see where he falls back to, and we'll see how soon Sunny's kind of being held there just by Reds. This is cool. Oscar blind. He's waiting for his moment. He's going to bounce right down. There's the off. He can double kill. He can, and now he has position. Now he can open up the second front, and everyone goes down. Great play from Oscar. Uh, one man defense, and he wins by positioning. That is such an extreme play to stick around. Normally, most people, when they hear those footsteps, I mean, they either try and pop flash themselves in to, to just get a kill, or you just try and run back as fast as you can. And no teammates there. Yeah, this is just an expert play coming out from him. Really well done. It's interesting that no one from NIP clears that right corner. You know, like when you're on that, that we see people there all the time. Like uh, even on the piss round, the position that Snacks was in, and no one went forward to clear that part part out. So even the guys who jumped down, not spinning to at least check balcony. They get punished. And given all the rifles that they lost in the round before this one, yeah. they just can't do anything. Mm. That's, I That's mean... A really rough sequence of events for NIP. I think NIP were probably thinking, since we're making so much noise running up the hallway here, if anyone is either in the default corner in, up, on the, up on the balcony there, or in that position that Oscar was in, they're going to show themselves, right? Because they can hear it coming, and we're throwing all the grenades and everything, so... Very cool play from him this time. Bit dangerous, Chris. Gonna stick around and take that fight anyway. They really seem to be sort of uh, building up some confidence here, our sports. They've been taking these fights throughout the game, yep. even when it hasn't really been necessary. But they're sort of back in the lead now. So who can blame them? In the lead and have a pretty ballooned economy because of the free AKs. 
flying around uh, against just pistols where it looks like they're going to get out scot-free. So five to three. That's an ace on Chris, by the way. I mean, it's, Is it? Oh. Yeah. He, he, it was sort of you know, dragged out across the round. Yeah. And still, it all makes you feel better, obviously. Nicely done, Chris. Yeah. He has, uh, I mean... Obviously an opera throughout most of his career, but he's shown great things with Mouse Sports as an in-game leader and a rifler, and even an smg -er, as we've seen. Either way, NIP is still in a pretty decent spot. Three rounds, uh, you know, halfway through the half. Yep. Yeah, this is a fine scoreline uh, for, for everybody involved right now. Don't always know exactly how many rounds you need on, on Mirage. Sometimes those T-sides can be a little bit tricky, but um, three to five I think is acceptable. And I, again, I wouldn't be surprised that we are going to see some sort of default day execute pretty soon for NIP because it's always worth testing, right? If you do it oh, in yeah. the right round where they're holding mid with three and there's only one at CT spawn, that's it's not a free round, but it's a good beginning, right? Uh, the nice thing about it is that it's one of those kind of tactics that should be able to net you at least a plant more often than not. And then, then you can kind of see what happens from there uh, and play the post plants. Usually the, the few times that, that kind of gets prevented is if, you know, you get stalled out too early or if there's, you know, a close-up defense that kind of wrecks you. Let's we'll see what they go for, though. They have one UMP on res. They've got plenty of utility for anything they want. Gatorite's even going to add a smoke into this buy, I would imagine, right here at the end. Not this round, Anders. No, we're going to have to wait a bit longer. P-Rush? That would be exciting. They've already set up a bit of a grenade in middle. See if they can hold it on for long enough. That Molotov, if it was a B-Rush, would probably slow them down a fair bit anyway. But um, could be just a delayed one. Oscar last time managed to foil their plans this time. There's the pop flash, but he's actually got a pop back already, and they are right on top of him. He's in so much trouble right here, close to the corner, taking down Get Right. This is what he's an expert at. He's still going to go down to Lecro, so only the one kill and a good closure on him right there. Hiding at the edge, Sunny reeling his position, and more backup is coming. One coming in from Catwalk. Very important fight happening out there. I think that's Robs, but Sunny's actually going to steal the kill. That opens it up. Now Robs has a free entry. That's a huge kill for Sunny and Lecro and Dennis just trying to fight to keep it alive. No bomb plant. They've been fighting all the way through. Lecro hitting one more headshot. And now he's ready and waiting. Snacks walking right into it. Odd kill for Lecro. Holding on to the round and maybe they needed to just remind themselves at the end of their mouse sports so that there was no bomb plant. Yeah, slow it down. But the cool thing was Oscar. This smoke that Oscar dropped in the middle of that bomb site was really, really cool. It didn't actually do much for Oscar himself, but what it did allow uh, was a lot of mobility of, for Sonny, I believe, was pinned behind that pillar. He could rotate around. He could check towards Catwalk with safety. No one up in those windows or on the balcony are going to be able to punish him for it. And that was really, really cool to see what it kind of afforded him. And obviously, you're right, two on two, you get that kill out of Dennis. And Lecro is able to find the, the one-on-ones and even just patiently waiting for Snacks to peak a fourth round. They're going to have the Economy Mouse Sports. They've, they've drawn it down low again. Lecro has been great for this team. They talk about him as an in-game leader, but just on an individual level, he's been, um, you know, we've always been wondering when Lecro is going to step up and find some level of consistency. Because I think the first time we saw him really, you know, hit hit some kind of hit kind of, some kind of personal best level was Malmo 2016 with Godson. Yes. Yeah, that was an insane tournament for him, and then he kind of went quiet after that. Back when Pauf was playing as well, Moses. If you yeah, that, that prediction went well for you. Listen, he another played well for that tournament. That's what I cared about. <laughs> another one of those 16% predictions. Listen. He worked that one. That's all that matters. Oh, here we go. This isn't an execute, Anders. This is just going to be a timing hit. Rops is going to throw it over. Now the flashbangs. Sonny looks like he wants to go for a battle. Dennis is looking. He adjusts, and it sprays, and it's not good enough. Get right with the MAC-10 to clean him off. But now they need to get these smokes down. Because it's not an execution, they're, they're paused. They're stopped. Yep, and the longer they wait, the more amount of supports are going to be here. Forest boosted up by a teammate to get that kill on Chris. That's not bad at all. Another boost being improvised here for Mouse Sports, hoping that it's a default part, because in that case, it would work wonderfully, this one. Can't, oh, almost gets the edge. The bomb will go down, but Robs goes up in flames, and 2 on 3 now Oscar alone as Lecro landing more headshots. He is playing beautiful Counter-Strike at the moment, and Oscar is going to have a lot of trouble doing this. He knows there might be someone flanking him. He's not wrong either. He actually might run right into the waiting arms. Let's get right over on this side. Just where it in waiting with a max 10 and Oscar is going to be done for. That's a huge kill. You know, 
Yeah. Well, it was just because you said my, you just told my my predictions, and you know, you know, make 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 fun of them. <laughs> there you go. He's going for something clever. Yeah, it took me a little while, but um, <laughs> I actually said when uh, when Lecker was let go from Fnatic that I thought Fnatic had made a big mistake in giving away this resource, and I think he was. I think I still stand by that. Um, I still think Lecker is one of those players that, if you had the chance to hold on to him, now there may have been some chemistry issues that I don't know about. There may be lots of other reasons, but I was going to say the one thing that you never really know is I think players just sometimes thrive better yeah. in different environments and lineups, obviously. Then, so I mean, maybe Lecker doesn't become this player that we're seeing on an AP if he stays in Fnatic. So it's always hard to kind of tell in that sense. Forest, they're not going to get caught off guard by these anti ecos again. Chris does find the kill, but they don't want to let that AK-47 get salvaged. Molotov actually doesn't do it. They run right into it. And even Getright having some struggle, but struggling, but the, the Spray Master figures it out, and there's the SMB. What's that saying? Uh, another man's trash is like another man's gold, or whatever it is. There is a saying like that, but... Yeah, I don't think that's quite it. I'm, you, get I, the, you get the idea, though. You get the idea. I think... Uh, I think I I I don't do sayings and I don't do math on stream Moses. Cause you don't do sayings. Okay. No, you always end up messing it up. I don't know how many times I've tried to say, if it ain't broke, don't try and fix it, and just completely messed it up. You know, <laughs> if it ain't fixed, then don't broke it. Well, even watching too many George Bush speeches. <laughs> nice shot from Oscar Lecro is gonna. Trade him right back, and Sonny actually had to be a little bit careful. They're actually walking right into it. Lecro just on the other edge of that smoke, and oh, Chris James gonna find him. Surely not. Lecro, he's got eyes in the back of his head. Great performance. He cracks open middle for the ninjas, and the defense now, these three players from Mouse Sports, it's kind of like, guys, how can we figure out how to work together from here on out? Yeah, you're spread all across the map, aren't you? Some fairly ridiculous kills to begin this round with, and all oh, the timing, get right. He just walks behind Tetris there, otherwise he could have had that shot easily, I think, on Robs, who's fallen back into a much safer position. The bomb is over here, and they're going to come through on the pass as well. If Rez can make it way into connector, this is such a powerful position. Uh, there's no other option as well for Rops. He has to fall back and get into safety. He cannot be inside the bomb site when he doesn't have a teammate watching mid whatsoever because then you have to worry about ramp, connector, and palace. So Rops doing whatever he can just to be able to buy time. There's no kits on these mouse sports players. Now he's in a bit of a more committed off angle. Sunny there as well. Good backup, and even uh, Snacks is not that far away. 38 seconds, perfect timing to take down Res. Very aggressive, not waiting for an IP to make that move. Smart play from Robs right here, and this is looking great for the defense. Just going to be Forrest left with 28 seconds. He's going to pull out the pistol, but Snacks is going to be there in time. Good setup there for Mouse Sports. That that actually was not easy to win in that three on three. It looked like NIP had the advantage. I think I think NIP gave him a little bit of a favor by not just getting into the bomb site. Well, they gave away that they were attacking A far too early before they actually wanted to progress into the bomb site. You could have had a situation with Rez sneaking along that wall quietly in a pop flash, and those Molotovs really gave it away and allowed Sunny to get into position with with Rops. And obviously. It's hard to know when to do that, but NIP, if you're gonna if you're gonna give up your presence in that kind of a situation, you need to be very aggressive into getting into the bomb site. It's the default A Moses. We had to wait a couple of rounds, but Yeah. Well they've got they've got an op there now. Chris J is holding that. And they're gonna have Sunny as well, and they're gonna have no mid presence, so I'm not sure how well this is gonna go. From us. Oh, get right in the grenade is out. Rob's almost walking away too quick for that one. Chris is going to be down and now Sunny with the refrag, taking down Lecro. So, really, really good hold, especially up in those apartments. That makes such a big difference. Oh, nice pop flash timing, and Rob's is, yeah, completely blind. Eyes burned out of his head, and they're getting all the kills now. Mouse Sports over eager. The aggression in towards Palace was great because you have enough bodies at the A bomb site where if it goes wrong, you can still recover, so I mean, I, I really liked that move, but coming through these smokes, again, the bomb site not lost, the bomb not planted. I've got to say, from an NIP point, NIP point of view, that pop flash into the apartments, that's incredibly hard to do. You, you know, like, right on the edge of the bomb site, what are the chances that you don't just get shut down as you're even trying to set it up, you know? Remember, as a two on four, you gotta take a risk somewhere. That was the one they decided to take, and they know there's no chance of them getting that bomb site as long as Palace is held by a CT player. But if they walk into Oscar, this little adventure for NIP could still be over pretty quickly. He does only have 15 health, but that AWP of his is incredibly powerful. And 30 seconds means they are going to walk this way. 
They don't have, well, they have one smoke, but again, how do they know where he is to throw that smoke, right? They almost have to, have to sacrifice a player just to figure out where he is. Out on catwalk right now, going to be scoping in just the right time. 15 seconds, and he actually misses that shot. Normally one that he would have hit, and now they can try and escape, and suddenly that smoke's actually really valuable. That's going to make it hard. They don't know if anyone's walking behind here, and Dennis will try and reposition. That's really smart. Checking out Kitchen and seeing nobody in there. Two on two for this after plant. And Mouse Sports, they must win it. They're going to be out of money if they lose this round. And suddenly NIP will have the lead and a good chance to have a great first half here. Forrest hiding behind the truck and they're doubling up on the aggression. Not checking the truck at the moment. Snack's going to turn around, but an instant headshot. And now that's trouble for Oscar. You can tell as well. Low on health and he's going to go down. Forrest will double and NIP winning that two on two to say it's unfortunate Oscar missed that shot because he picked the perfect time to turn around and obviously when it gets past 20 seconds you kind of realize what's coming. This is great from NIP. This follow-up coming through that smoke Sonny, no one else is there with you. Even Oscar getting so banged up with that spray from Dennis. Lucky to leave with his life at that point but they are kind of shut down. Yeah, Oscar, I mean, his brain just is kind of like, okay, there's 18 seconds in the clock. They're going to have to attack someone. I don't see him on catwalk. I don't hear him running up catwalk. So turn around and check out the B apartments. He had the right idea, just a missed shot. Four spy for Mal Sports. Uh-oh, look at this aggression. Oh, Sonny might catch him with a nade out. Becker's gonna check after the throw. That's the bomb as well. There's a lot of NIP players. Sonny gets two somehow. Chris is still here. I'm not even entirely sure they've spotted him. Rez gonna get the kill with no problem. And meanwhile, the MAC-10 on Get Right provides the entrance into the bomb site. So danger averted, but it was a hell of a lot of danger. Yeah. They must have heard the flash in on the pass, but they might have just thought it was on catwalk instead. Like, they might have been fooled by the sound. I think knows? it's just standard for, for every pro team to kind of check that. I, I think they're just fortunate with the timing of when they decided to throw their nades in the B-bomb site. Yeah. Well, Oscar and Robs, especially Robs, has picked up the AK coming in from behind, and Rez is spotting for him. Oscar actually gets a kill, and oh my god, they turn it around. Now it's on Dennis. Can he find the right position here so he doesn't get shot down from apartments? Robs is making his way in. That's one good kill, and Dennis turning around, and he's ready for it. Double kill, and that's what we wanted, Moses. That's the 3 and 4%. I got it exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> you were even looking at me. Uh, no, I knew you were oh, going to say it. You... Yeah. <laughs> Dennis, great one and two clutch. They needed that one. Good start from Sonny. I don't know how they turned it around. In my head, I'm thinking, Rob, save the AK, save the AK, and then all of a sudden the kills come out. That was so close for the ninjas, but yeah, you're right. That is, oddly enough, as much as I hate to say it, that extra 3 to 4% to just win a clutch like that is huge. NIP now confirmed. Going into the second half with the lead, the question is, is it going to be one or two rounds? And with these two opening kills and mid control, Looks like it's going to be nine to six, or three rounds. Yes, uh, they're looking amazing right now. Yep. This is definitely a, a really, really good first half for them. Nine kills on Res, nine on Get Right, thirteen on Lecro. That has got to be the the surprise of this one. Not because he's not a good player, but just because when you're in game leading against uh, Mouse Sports as well, that's not so easy to put this much on the board. So, I've I've said this a couple of times watching NIP, but all, I mean also I know the desk just talked big things about him. But remember when when they announced that Lecro was going to be the in game leader, everyone was just like, "What? <laughs> like this? This surely will not go well." So another another player kind of stepping up to the plate in the in game leader category and surprising us. I feel like almost all of the time. This is how in-game leaders are made, though. They're sort of pushed into yep. it, right? Yep. Almost nobody says, you know what? I just want to make my life a lot more miserable, so let me let me try an in-game leader a little I bit. I mean, it's the great irony that in-game leaders need to be, like, really intelligent about reading the game, but then also, if you choose to be an in-game leader, you are kind of, like, mentally broken. Yeah. Like, you are just, you, you know, you do need help in some ways to, and to bring that upon yourself. I think it's... Oh, my God. That was a job well done. Rob's unable to get the scout into play, so... I'll follow up on that in just a second. Snacks and Sunny here trying to see if they can just somehow steal the round back, but it doesn't seem possible. So we'll go in favor of NIP here, one versus four. I think back to our resident mentally broken expert, Anders B. Loom. Yes, I do have some uh, some experience with this. I think um, it's it's hard when you're, a, especially when you're a player like Lecro, whose career, even though he's, he's obviously impressing us here, and, and I think he's making a name for himself, right? right. but he doesn't have the same kind of 
shall we say, like career stability or like the same safety net that some of the other players in the Swedish team has. Yeah. So if you're the in-game leader, there's a very good chance that if something just starts to go wrong in the team, all the fingers are going to be pointed at you, right? So if you're the new up-and-coming player, you'd much rather be someone like a Rez who can who can put up big numbers and people say oh he's really good at the fragging right because even if you then get kicked from the team at some point there's a chance that someone else would have noticed and said well, yeah. you know what he's good enough that we want to try this I think the nice thing about NIP though in that regard is that Get Right and Force aren't really like the kind of pros that are ever going to like kind of lord their resume and pedigree over you it feels like from from my no, knowledge I, I guess I there, there could be some kind of interaction behind the scenes that, that I don't know about that would prove that wrong but in my interactions with them they, they, they seem like to be the more the more kind of humble pros who yeah yeah they they are aren't gonna say listen i'm not listening to you or something <laughs> along those lines i don't care what you say <laughs> res hiding in sandwich a much safer position when you can expect no molotovs on the other side later on in the game it could be dangerous three man stack here at the a bomb site and mouse sports looking for an entry and maybe even the execute to follow here Get right, missing a chance. That's a great duck uh, right under Rez, but get right hitting headshots. Dennis will follow it. And get right now fighting out in the open. He's going to get that kill as well. Three of them for get right. What a beautiful way to start the pistol round. I yeah. cannot believe that duck peek into. Yeah, that was that dirty, is wasn't it? So unfair. It's so unreasonable. Rez just has to say, What can I do? Forest guarding the murder hole, and Oscar is going to go down. Great pistol round for the Ninjas. He just hip checked him, didn't he? Just yeah. Get <laughs> right. <laughs> just like, what do you? How do you beat that? Yeah, great shots from oh, Get Right. Rob. That transfer over to Rops was nice. This one, this is what you like to see out of Get Right. Getting assertive, swinging out wide and against snacks, knowing it's just a one-on-one -on -one and just deciding he's going to win it. Mouse Sports, unfortunately, walking right into the perfect defense. And that's in spite of getting that opening, right? Yeah. Because normally, if you get rid of Sandwich. Especially the player in shadow that was Dennis that round would be very exposed. I mean, even Dennis is, you know, if, if Getright doesn't get those two kills, there's no guarantee that they don't hard check Dennis as yeah. well. They might be thinking that's that's the other side of the crossfire. The fact that, that Getright gets two kills pulls their attention away. Here's investment from our sports. Deagle and CZ's in armor. No utility. Just hoping that an IP get careless, maybe go for some peaks in middle. And can you make those... Lecro, Deals work. Lecro can be in some trouble here, especially if he gets caught rotating, because Rops and Sonny are about to take some attention away. They want to challenge at the eight bomb site, make some presence known. You can see Forrest is being pulled over. Lecro's backup is farther away. Lecro has not moved. Actually, he does a little bit there, just to the other side. He's starting to try and find some information. Drops down. That's going to be information gathered. If he's going to be on the floor like this inside the bomb site, he needs some backup. Yeah, it's one of those positions where. If you just if you're just a little bit hesitant in what you want to do, you don't know if you want to fight or if you want to fall back. You can die so quickly. He's not even jump spotting, and because they don't have utility, they likely just walk walk peek this and play contact. They're not going to give any indication they're coming towards that B bomb site. And Forest down to 21 is as close as backup. Now it's all on Lecro. Already fired a couple of bullets. 16 of them left. Going to take down one, but can't follow it up. Yeah, great shot. See, I mean, that's the problem. Force took too much damage in mid. Dennis is here to close the gap pretty quick, but it's a retake scenario. Sunny is low, but look at these positions. It's going to be a tough retake. Rops jumps in towards Marcus to try and come from behind, but yeah, great timing. Unfortunately, he just barely missed it. NIP knew they had one more teammate coming, and it's all on Sunny. He's the one in that fight with Forrest early on. 7 HP. He's good, and get right doesn't check beneath him, and Dennis doesn't want to challenge. He's low as well. They've got to bring Rez over. This is doable for Sonny. They line up, but the uh, swing is way too fast. 11th for NIP, but they take some losses, and the plant's going to help out in a big way. That was very close as well, the bomb plant. That could have got horribly wrong. I must say, that was a genius move from Robs. So I don't think I've ever actually seen that. He was sort of waiting for them to come out of the, the left-hand side of kitchen, or... Yeah. And then just jumps right in there. That was very I, well done. I don't done. think it would have worked because they spotted him, but it certainly could have, again, like, you know, if there's two players coming out that exit, one of them continues going out to the other bomb site, and the other one has to go back to market to check if they yeah. don't have, you know, I think it was get right being the third But he player. could even just jump back out again. Yeah. So, like, he could it just, it just as a way to waste time, it could, could get be weird, yeah. really annoying, right? What a recovery from NIP that almost uh, gave away that round. 11 to 6 now, and we are back to. Not really much. And get right on the auto shotgun again. He has no mercy left in him, does he? I love it. Through the years of the of the big, you know, NIP collapse, he's just lost his last last shred of humanity. <laughs> <laughs> he's come out on the other side. He's become a monster. 
I mean, you know, we don't have NBK in the major, so someone's got to pick up the mantle of using the weird guns. Yeah, I want NBK back as well. I see. Ooh, he's going to go investigating. That's not a shotgun kind of fight. A little bit of damage. Puts him on notice. Yeah. I don't know what kind of shells they put in these modes. If it, if it had a slug in it, it could probably work at that range. <laughs> if it was just a pellet, I doubt it. Maybe he's skeet shooting. <laughs> Oh, this time there's a B lane. <laughs> so Forrest is over on Catwalk, Denison, Window, Lecro in the B bomb site. So it's got red and res. And it almost feels like they just like they have they have a few upgraded pistols and they have the utility, but I almost feel like they're just hesitant because they know they have to go red at a shotgun. I was going to say, what is the logic here? We just heard that weapon that's incredible against the no armor. Let's try and fight it. And we'll sort of see the results here. They're just getting absolutely <laughs> chewed up. Yeah, let's. We have no armor. This weapon gives the most bonus money. Let's go right at it. It's at it is so brutal, isn't it? Yeah, it's fun though. 15 kills for Get Right. Tied up with Dennis. They've both overtaken. Lecro is still at 14 and is still doing a remarkable job. On the other side, Rob's at 13 and so is Sunny. It's not like they're really lacking the kills right now. Some of these rounds have, have really been incredibly close. So even if it's 12 to 6 right now, it's a slightly deceptive scoreline. Actually, Mouse Sports could have been uh, much closer than they are right now. It's that backbreaking 6 to 1 run to end that first half that really yeah. that really gives NIP this lead. That's a, that's a really brutal sequence for Mouse Sports. 12 to 6, uh, small technical time. Out. We did just get snacks uh, dropping from the server, so he'll be right back. Yeah, we've we got, got Bot Bert. Bot Bert instead. That's a, uh, that's a name and a half. Yeah, and the bots in CSGO don't really, uh, are really completely dysfunctional, aren't they? Bring back the pot bots. We, exactly, the fragomatic. Yeah, you ever want to see the uh, the shotgun use the full effect? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Headshots all the way up long on those two. No chance at all. Yeah, we miss those, don't we? I feel like we're uh, we're getting, you know, we're in the age of artificial intelligence, Moses, as you well know. Because I tell you about it all the time. Um, I feel and like you have artificial intelligence. <laughs> Yeah, I'm one of the early <laughs> experiments. and It's all gone wrong, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but um, we should be able to get, you know, slightly better bots. They obviously can't be better than players, right? But Because then, you know, I mean, I I'm know. talking about in matchmaking. The, the Dota ones are pretty good, I hear. Yeah, but I mean, if you wanted to create that, then you could never beat a Counter-Strike bot, right? We've all run into the spin botters and... That's, that's a good point. <laughs> that well, I mean, you'd like them to operate within the parameters of reality in the game, right? Okay. Maybe that could work. Maybe they can't see through walls and it's more fair. Yeah. Yeah, but the Dota one is definitely fun. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, they had, what, like, five? That was, like, Elon Musk's experiment, I believe, wasn't it? Didn't he, like, build them or something? Some, he had something to do with it. It's Maybe he just tweeted it. I think he's part, of the, just lost I think he's part of the open AI circuit yeah. that, that does it. Okay. And Elon is one of those people that care very much about AI safety, which I'm on that train <laughs> too, Moses. <laughs> All right, let's not go too deep down this rabbit hole. No. We'll save we've, that. We've got the technical timeout. We can do it. <laughs> we do have a technical timeout. I read a whole book out and everything. Super intelligence? Yeah. There you go. That's where Elon uh, has all of his stuff from, Moses. Yeah? Yeah, it's a Swedish scientist called Nick Bostrom. It's a very, very good book. You should check it out. If you care about uh, the future of humanity at all, you should uh, do that. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome so, to the Counter-Strike Major, if you care about humanity. Yeah. Read this should. massive book. We've got to prevent it all from happening. Um, we've all seen Terminator. We know where this ends. Oh, Terminator was such a good movie. It still is, isn't it? Uh, it's kind of shocking. Uh, it does have some rewatchability. It's yeah. lasted through time. A lot of those movies do. Jurassic, the original Jurassic Park, it's phenomenal. There's a new one coming out, isn't there? It's like, already out. The new Jurassic Park. Oh, is Jurassic it already Park? out? Yeah. It's not I don't want to keep up. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. No. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You, haven't, you haven't missed anything. Great. I'm glad. Tell me if I need to to, to watch something. Otherwise, <laughs> it just, days just go by. I yeah. just don't know what happens. So, just uh, restoring all of the money on everybody so that nobody gets cheated out of uh, whatever economy they had going on. And then we should be, hopefully, all back into it. They all have headsets on. Yeah, and everyone's back in the server as well. Starting to see guns purchase up, so... You don't have to hear about Anders drone on about AI any longer. That's that's for me. It's for me to deal with. <laughs> that's my personal hell. Yeah. Get right, still got the shotgun. 12 to 6, doubling up on Mouse Sports. It's, uh, it's been a minute since Mouse Sports won a round. Uh, six in a row for the Ninjas at the moment. 9 to 1 run in the last 10. So, 
not exactly the last stand from our spots, but we are getting dangerously close and I sort of feel like they're running out of a little bit of energy. So now you're on the T side, you've got the initiative, you could definitely do something except for Dennis who shots down two players right off the bat and Robs with a bit of a return at least taking down Dennis for a spotting. Oh my god, what? how is that a headshot? Got Hiko. Yeah, exactly. That's God. what Hiko wished had happened, <laughs> just not to a teammate. <laughs> Holy hell. How did the oh. bullets you do that? Why does it never happen to me? <laughs> Oscar and Snacks, God, two on four. <laughs> now, so I normally would say that Gutright has made a really cool play, but he's got a shotgun. So, like, it's just, it's just not going to work in this position, unfortunately. It's too far of a range. He can have the information and he can be a distraction, but, like, he's going to need his teammates to come over here. Now, the tough part is... Oscar can ruin everything. Oh my lord. There's the jump and another missed shot for Oscar. That's unfortunate. And now he has to give up the angle. Never knows if there's going to be an op that holds it in. Now coming back to attack a new choke point. It's almost worth it for him to use the USP instead of the shotgun. You're right at this range. It's very tricky to get it in the position. Good Molotov there. Oscar now back. Last chance here and he's going to get it. Lecro gone down to Snacks as well and now holding close with the auto. But Oscar's going to catch him mid-air. Beautiful defense. And what a round for Mouse Sports. Two on four. They get the bomb plant down and nobody hears it. And the rotation time is just so long from that B bomb site. It was well done. Yeah, that's so unfortunate. Remember, that was a five on three when Dennis gets that double kill in mid. I mean, it's hard to see with the smoke, but that did, that did feel very weird. Nice shot from Oscar there at the end. He even finds Getride jumping up on top, trying to take out his teammate. That's unfortunate. I do feel like that, that auto shotgun really kind of backstabbed NIP and, and get right there. If he had an M4 at that ramp in that pushed up position, he can be way more way more mobile and kind of turn around and peer into that A-bomb side, take a fight if he sees somebody. But because of the shotgun, he wants to stay on this side, where he can have a close-range fight. It just doesn't pan out for them. Uh, they find that smoke very suspicious. And these get right on the other side. They they feel like something might be up. I think that was Rob's holding down there, and he doesn't really want to challenge it. He's also playing alone, so it would be risky. Now, what do they do? They've got mid control, being very cautious, waiting for a follow up peek from somewhere. Forrest is in the ladder room, just waiting. Some standard spam in towards connector. Forrest is alone here. Rez might have a tough time helping him out. That smoke definitely is not going to allow Rez to have some kind of a long range crossfire. But there's Forrest. Chris J just kind of loses track of his position. They know where he is now at the very least, so that smoke's going to help him out. But Snacks is on the other side, and he loves playing with that. Oh, oh my god, the flashbang and Forrest just holds down the trigger completely blind. Snacks tries to make his way in, and somehow NIP is having no problems with this. It looked like Mal Sports was at least going to be able to find some entries, and they've got none. Even backing out of his vision, good adjustment from Oscar, but you got to feel like this is all said and done. Yeah, I mean, well played on Forrest for the first kill. That second one, you just let Jesus take the wheel and... <laughs> Oscar now hoping that he could find maybe a way into a bomb side. I don't even know what 15 seconds. Might just want to try and find a way to end it. Forrest gets the triple. Steals the AWP. He also is using the M4A1 Moses. One of the one, one of, of the, the last of rare species. The holdouts, people. yeah. Nice shooting there on Chris. Obviously a free one. That's just fortunate. Snacks, I think, got lost in that smoke. He kind of got caught on the lip right by the box and couldn't get in. Not that it would have mattered if Forrest is holding the trigger like that, but... Yeah, a little bit of luck goes the way of the ninjas, and that's a reset. That's a harsh reset. You have Oscar with money, but everyone else is broke. The opposite of rich. <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> so, six-round gap here. You, c I don't know. They're hitting some good shots, Mouse Sports. They're getting. The, when you look at the scoreboard. This doesn't feel like a team that's really it losing. Doesn't feel like they should be getting smacked around the way they kind of no. are, does it? Like all the frags are so so close on both sides. I mean, there's no one player on e either team kind of running it up. But it looks like there's so. I mean, that that means there has to have been so many like one v one and two v twos and stuff like that in these. Yeah, it's kind of wild to think about. Definitely a, a much closer game than it seems here on Mirage, but it is still looking good for NIP. Dennis with 17. We asked him to step up like 3 or 4% Moses, right? But, but he's done way more than that. He's playing a great game right now. A lot of credit to him for doing it. And a good Molotov to slow them down. He doesn't even explode the chairs, Moses. Those are still alive. Yeah, adamantium chairs. They're so dramatic when they, when they, they make like this 
crazy noise whenever they explode. It's like a tree screaming. Yeah. Alright, and Lost Port's playing uh, around the world. Alright, at Forest. Here's where that M4A1 might hurt him, and he's doubled up with Lecro, so I mean, screw it. They actually go back. I can't keep up anymore. I don't know what the, what the logic is. Do you think they're trying to confuse someone, or do you think they're just having a laugh? Tell them a joke. It could be. Maybe they're hoping that, you know, that you're trying to analyze it all the way through. <laughs> they're like, let's make these guys talk about us running in a circle for a little bit. Uh, there's no utility. Chris is, is Chris completely bought up into this? He bought a P250 in light armor, so he only has $450. So I don't know if maybe... That's odd. Yeah, that is odd. I really can't explain it. Because no one else bought anything. You would surely want to uh, to keep some sort of symmetry in the team here so that everybody can, can be all united in the upcoming buy round. And Sunny, close range here with the Glock. He really wishes he could get that sneak in, but... Long spray here for Get Right. That took all 30 bullets. Oh, Snacks will get one. They're doing significant damage in this round. And Get Right's very low on health, and he's going to go down to Snacks as well. So, 2 on 3. This is very, very sloppy for NIP. Forrest trying to see if he could find that kill. He's just slowly tapping away, but he's going to get edged down by Sunny, and now it's all on Necro. He's already been tagged in the face. What? What an odd round this is. He doesn't even have a smoke to block off anybody, so this defuse here, he's just going to. Oh, it's a 10 second one as well. There must have been a kit somewhere, but he just is not going to be able to find it right now it seems and he goes down to sunny i i just don't even know i don't want to talk about that Rob. yeah lecro even has had eighteen hundred dollars when he went down so the fact that he got one kill means he had 1500 he could have purchased a kit just didn't have one maybe could have done something tricky but i yeah that's just a that's just a weird obviously that long drawn out fight for get right brought him down so low and the fact that his teammate went down pushing up and snacks was in the corner didn't expect kind of really means that a bomb site is being held by one player with like six hp um very did, very weird i feel like not even mouse sports could tell you what, what like why they ended up winning that round they must have been slightly shrugging at the end of it saying well we'll take it yeah i guess that works yeah very odd indeed. Dennis down in the other pass with the C set 75. Doesn't want to check around the corner. He's hoping that someone's going to come close and maybe Chris will. Does have that M4 picked up and this C set 75 is lethal at this range, but good headshot instantly bringing him down. So solid kill for Chris. Uh, the utility being used. Get right pushed up once again. There is Rops watching the flank. So if Chris keeps or if Get right keeps going, he is going to get wrecked. Robin Cool going to have a chance here. Ooh, that's a nice timing for Get Right. Better shooting from Chris J. Tapping away. Let's see how measured he is. Not bad. Takes out Forrest with, I believe that's his own gun. That's kind of a dick move. Yeah, a little bit, isn't it? And there he is. They could do like a Boney M remake of his name, Moses. Is that a daddy call? Robin call? A what remake? Boney M. Do you know that song? No. Daddy call. You must have. Come on. <laughs> how can you not have? A disgraceful human being. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Either of you, I haven't got the producer yelling at me as well. <laughs> See, you're both, you've both lost me. <laughs> well, yeah, Mouse Sports is back into it now. Five players surviving. They have the AKs. They have the up. They have plenty of money on Oscar. This one, that loss in the previous round really hurt NIP. That was like the red carpet was laid out to the victory of this entire map. Yeah, all they had to do was keep going. They're like one of those, uh, you know, horrible videos on the internet where people celebrate right before they get the finish line in like some cycling race or something. They put their hands up and then they crash and yeah. lose, lose the whole thing. That's what's happening to NIP right now. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I was going to go more with like the red carpet thing with like someone like a heel breaking as they walk down the carpet. I don't think they're wearing heels, Moses. I don't think this metaphor is... Uh, yeah, they're also not on a bicycle, so let's calm down. There are mopeds on this map, aren't there? <laughs> it's sort of, sort of like a bicycle with an engine on. Yeah, fair play. I'll let you win that one. <laughs> Oscar with the off. Fearing up, going for a pick. Now he's feeling a little bit more confident. Oh, that goes so blind, but he recovers. Sonny couldn't handle it. They talked about him on the desk, and for good reason. He's been such a strong and consistent player, but misses a big opportunity there. Yeah, definitely. One of the one of the people that have sort of escaped the Finnish Counter Strike scene that has been looking a little bit strange for a while, but um, I think it's going to make a pretty big comeback eventually. 
there is a lot of talent in in, in Finland, and I, I think, like I, th I said this a while ago, but I think there's going to be even more uh, in the upcoming year. Yeah, you've been mentioning that the Finnish scene is going to is going to blow up. Yeah, I definitely think so. Shout out to our boy Natsu. He's actually part of the reason why I think so. Yeah. He's involved on a grassroots level with a bunch of different things. Um, so. I have some inside info, Moses. I'm not going to lie. Of course you do. But um, This angle from Get Right, if he's on top of the... I'm only looking at the minimap. If he's on top, yeah, this is this can be a tough angle to, to work with. He's backing off of it. Rez is close up. He has no backup inside. This is all Rez. Early warning. He's got one kill. He's going to build upon it. He grabs snacks and can't handle Oscar, but he's done his job. And now Get Right. See, that one with the corner of the wall is tough. Yeah, probably a kill that he could have had. He does leave Rops on 30 health, and this is very tricky. Two versus three, hiding right around the edge is Dennis. And oh, oh my no. god, what a save! Robin Cool right back at it, and now Oscar's out with the AWP. This could be a horrible round for NIP to lose. Oscar waiting for the time to stand up close range, and he does actually get the leg shot on Forrest, but somehow NIP get to live through the round and. I don't know. This is some crazy. This is a crazy end to this game. It looked like NIP had already done it, but now they have to fight for absolutely everything. Double for Lecro, double for Rez. Yeah, they're gonna have to drop some weapons, so they're not out of the woods just yet. This is a great hold from Rez, really slowing things down on that hit. Tough fight for Get Right to win, but he brings him down low, and I cannot believe wow. Rop saved him from there. Oscar's gonna be frustrated. That was a leg shot. NIP buying back into this round and dropping weapons over and getting everything they can out of cash. Four players beneath a thousand dollars, three of them beneath two hundred dollars. So that's that's not ideal. Meanwhile, Mouseport still has you know a very strong line here, plenty in the bank afterwards to make something dangerous in the next round. So NIP is going to have to fight and claw for every single one to close this out. Oh, that was actually all. Oh, the timing is godlike. Throw with a grenade in hand, but that's a headshot from Forrest. That M4A1 is just looking so good on him. He's the one player that can make it work. I mean... Everyone's abandoned it. He is in a category of his own, almost. He is the last hero. The last action hero. That is a great movie, Moses. It's pretty good. I, I kind of want to rewatch that now, actually. <laughs> 24th round, 14 to 9, NIP, back on the red carpet, Moses, Forrest again, going to be flashed, but unflashed, just in time for that one kill, could have been a double, they're going to take down Lecro, he was so soft from earlier, so 3 on 3 with a slight health advantage here, favoring NIP, but the retake off the B-bomb side is almost always tricky, good smoke there, Sonny going to pick up the bomb, and no plant yet, NIP being very aggressive, and Robs will take down Rez, Bit of a flank, and they could have maybe waited for this. I think they wanted to try and create a bit of a diversion, but Get Right wasn't really in position for it. And now Dennis is down, and they can probably guess there's someone coming here. Can't stop the bomb from going down. And this would be a very, very tricky one versus three to win. And I think Get Right's already realizing they don't have the money to throw away these kind of guns. So, miscommunication, I would say, for, uh, for NIP in that retake. They were very, very quick. Just a little bit over-aggressive with that smoke, because there's plenty of time. You can see exactly what Mouse Sports does. As soon as that smoke comes up, you're right. It does kind of make your you scratch your head and say, what's going on? This is not a normal smoke to see in this situation. And everyone kind of stays away from the bomb plant. Everyone keeps their eyes on it. So you're not going to sneak out through there. Obviously, Rez thought he could find that duel out towards Van. Didn't pan out in his favor. Good win for Mouse Sports. I, they almost, that was so close to being a disaster though, I cannot believe nobody cleared that ladder room, no one even looked into it, that's the cross by, Forrest easily could have had a double, it was a very quick reaction from Oscar to punish him. I, I think mean, Forrest, I mean Forrest obviously assumed they were going to check it, because otherwise he could have actually just waited and they yeah. would have all walked past him, but um... It's just so wild that no one looked, I think that's because, you're exactly right, They're, otherwise he would have had his trigger discipline right, but he sees that first one, he's expecting someone to glance left. Yeah. Also because he was just flashed and checked a couple of rounds ago, so he probably just felt like that was going to happen. So now we're kind of back into it here. NIP, sure, they have a four-round lead, but some of these rounds are, are going to be just pistol rounds or maybe force rounds if mouse sports keep winning. So it it's closer than it seems once again. I think this is going to have to be a double save scenario if they don't turn this one. It'll be one more right after. I just don't think they'll have the money to fight. Now Sports doing their best. It is Rops with 19. Three players on 16 for Mouse Sports, and then it's three players on 17, and Forrest on 16 for NIP. Everyone is very, very close together. And now the scoreline is finally starting to match what the scoreboard would tell you. 
Yeah, this game definitely has been... It's 13 to 7 at one point, Anders. Yeah, I, I can't believe it. I mean, Sports are a very persistent team right now, and you could imagine they, the frustration must have been growing, all of those rounds being so close, and they weren't able to win them. But it paid off for them to hold on to it, and starting to see if they can make their way this way. Lecro is actually slightly famous for his deagle, and for good reason too. Going to be right at the angle, does miss the first opportunity, and now there's an orb out there waiting for him. Get right, rotated over the M4, but he couldn't make that spray connect, and Lecro running out of chances. Had three of them as well. So, save he's, the M4. Let's see if he's good with the M4A4. That's not fair. No armor. Yeah, he did get aim punched. Then I see it. He's going to get taken down as well. Nice round from Osports. All five surviving, and they claw themselves just a little bit closer. And I think uh, NIP again. This is this should be a save. I don't think we've seen timeouts from either one of these teams, have we? Tactical ones. No, not for not as far as I can recall. They just want to keep going, going at it head to head here. And IP, as you said, it would have to be double save, so can't really buy this round either. Maybe some pistols upgraded, but not much else. They kind of need to find a way to finish this because I feel like mouse bots are really, really starting to wake up now. A lot on the line here for the first match in the ch legend stage. It's starting to feel like that. They're starting to get that like cornered animal feel. Yeah. Where it's like that's when it's at its most dangerous, and this is where they're just like out of desperation, going deep into the playbook, doing some crazy plays. Chris J, this is the second time he's done this, and it's been in the past two or three rounds. And this time, oh god, that nade and then P250 headshot combo is not a fun thing. Actually, I'm supposed to thrown that exact smoke and gotten up catwalk a lot recently, and I think they feel what? like that's their that's their bread and butter at the moment. That's a long range, just Dennis somehow finding that kill. Three on three though, and it should still be relatively safe in this round here from our sport. Some unfortunate deaths, but not enough to jeopardize the round, I feel. Well, if Gatwright can do something with this AK-47, it reminds me seeing if he wants to actually challenge, because we, we know their money is just so, so low. If he were to go for something, he could cause a distraction for Rez to flank, but yeah, it's, it's kind of a low percentage round to try and fight for. Yeah. And you can see they're all just set up to deny economy, and unfortunately Rez and Dennis have nothing but USPs. It's not going to be ideal when these players start to exit. It's get right who you'd want to have the action, it's not going to come. There's Rez peeking out, and Snacks has already seen him, he's going to go down. No chance of a kill. Oh, oh okay. my god. Alright, why not? You got baited, Moses, I didn't did. you? I got wrecked so hard there. That's so oh, sad. Oh, get right wants more damage. They're right around the corner, he's going to spray down one, the bomb will take him down. That's still pretty expensive. You know, Moses, if I had to make a change to this map, yeah. I think you should be able to 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 use the space or the I guess the use key on I, I I have it on space but use on the cash register to make it do like one of those ding sounds because then when you kill people there at the end of the round you can just just sort of cash out of the round I think that would be vital update to the game. Your use key is spacebar. Yeah. For the, what are you meant to use it for? <laughs> I don't know. It's so that I don't mess up defusing the bomb, Moses. I can. <laughs> I can always... It's the way you can't even handle that. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, you can't even handle holding a key down. 14 to 12. Sunny Chris J. Snacks once again up catwalk. And I pee this over ready for it. Oh, they're going to spot him over the smoke. Chris J. run low. Oh, and they find Snacks. There's Dennis as well. Eventually, NIP is going to adapt and find a way to counter you. And when you do that round, two to three rounds straight, this is the result. Mouse Sports not showing a whole lot of variety. What? On the seaside. What? Okay. Did he die in his... What? Did he jump down? Molotov? Nade? He had so much to live for and... <laughs> he just gave it all up. I'm gonna need to see a replay. One more for the blooper reel? Yeah. That one... I mean, they, they have the round. There's surely no way that Oscar can find all of these kills. I don't know. Oscar is one of the best, like, clutch oppers. Like, you put him with a lot of space and a minute to work with and an AWP, like, he can, he can work some magic, and we've seen it on this very map. Problem is, there's a lot of utility. There's a lot of places NIP can be, and there's a lot of their players that can... And look where the bomb is as well. But this is good. Molotov out. That's the first step. We're running out of time. Missed shot. Perfect idea, though. It's yeah. not, not a bad call at all. 15 to 12, though. NIP now at a match point. He's got a little ground on his okay. face. He knows he did something silly. Okay, this is all good. Yeah, this is perfect. Now, what's ha what happens to Rez? That's the only thing that I really care about. <laughs> he just... Oh, what? Did yeah. he just, like... Did his brain just stop working? A little bit. I think maybe he... Yeah. 
I think it just turned off on him. Can happen to the best of us, yeah, Moses. His brain blue screened and walked into the fire. Well, double up now for the mouse sport side. Let's see last how that chance. plays out. Yeah, absolute last chance. And they're crawling the smoke, but it doesn't really want to stick around, and I don't really blame him for it either. If you had to AWP against Oscar or Chris, you might not. Actually, Chris has thrown away the AWP back and spawn, so they just bought it. Might have just wanted to go for for some kind of a timing peek to see if it would work. And this time it's a little bit more cautious in mid control. Sunny's close up. This is what made Mouse Sports so strong on this map in the first place was how much success Sunny was able to have being aggressive in towards connector. He's waiting inside the smoke at the moment. I'm not sure what for as it f fades. Where do they go from here? The crazy thing is NIP, with about a minute, is out of smokes. They've got no more real utility. Four flashbangs, two molotovs. It's a very, very slow round here for the Mouse Sports team. They know one mistake, and it's going to cost them the map. 45 seconds. If they make their way up connector now, that position from Rez over at Shadow is very easily compromised. They could just it could be made irrelevant so quickly. Get right would have to stay alive for at least a couple of seconds to buy some time for the rotation now. 30 of them left and see if they can make their way through. There's Rez going down exactly what we just talked about and get right trying to follow it up. He's done a lot of damage and backup has been called for as well. This can work out. Snacks goes down. Get right with one more headshot. It's falling apart here and Sunny's low on health and get right. He's waiting for more triple kill on him and he's going to be able to close it out as well 16 12 a quad kill for get right a beautiful way to end it and that's going to be an ip winning their first match here at the legend stage and i mean they have had a great tournament run already and it looks yeah. like it's just going to continue what a play yeah quad kill from get right awesome to see him to close it out 22 frags for the man on mirage in this